left eye, the one that underwent retinal surgery already swollen. It's round nine, and Dillis is having a boxing exhibition for himself. The most interesting aspect of this fight may have been Angelo Dundee working Tillis's corner. Aggressive, more so, more vocal than I have ever seen him before. Trying to go to his fighter in the manner of maybe Bobby Knight, Indiana basketball. A lot of blood on Tillis's pants. It's Shaver's blood. Tillis is uncut, unmarked. See that left get in there? He doubled on it, got them both in. Shaver's tried with the right, but the snap is no longer there, seemingly. Shaver's desperate. And it's sad to see. Ernie is now just trying to push the opponent against the ropes, somehow score with the right. Saw the wild right over the shoulder and behind the head. Not any evidence of boxing skills. There was the wild roundhouse right, and he got him. He got him, and Tillis may be gone. We said, maybe a miracle. What is this? Tillis jumped up to his feet immediately. When it looked like he may be gone, he jumped to his feet. The first knockdown of the fight. Shaver scored again with a right. Wild roundhouse right. An amateur should be able to get away from a blow like that. And Joey Curtis, the undersized referee, can't separate them. And Joey himself has a belly. He's out of shape, covered with sweat, 108 degree temperature in the ring. Tillis is groggy, the legs are rubbery, Shavis senses it. Out of nowhere in the ninth round, looking simply terrible. Shavis at one point, falling halfway over the ropes after missing a wild right, he flaws it. We'll look at that knockdown again. A big round, Bernie, there's the right. That was it, and he was hurt. One thing you have noticed in this fight, Tillis is easily hurt. He went down, late on his stomach, his head to the canvas. There it is again, that wild roundhouse, overhand, right. And look at it. It didn't appear that he could possibly rise. He lay there that way. The referee, Joey Curtis, deserves a look. He looks more battered than the fighters. This is the 10th and final round. Dillis back to his boxing style, pushing off on Shavis there. He didn't push off last round. He got careless. He thought he had things well in hand. And he is susceptible, we have discovered, very easily to punish. Series of combinations, scoring heavily with Jim Tillis. We are 50 seconds into the final round. Shave is still looking to connect with the round. And Tillis scores with the right three times, four times. Now pushing Shavers off. Shaver's right eye has become a bloody mess. Over as well as under where the cut originally was. Ernie 
trying to draw upon some final physical resource, namely that overhand right or that wild roundhouse right. But Tillis is scoring very effectively in this round with his left and right, the left jab again and again, the right combination, and sometimes the right alone. Through four consecutive rights that scored on Chavez earlier in the round. Blood again from Ernie's left nostril. You people at home can see that this is not heavyweight quality glass. Ernie ready to go down there. Hit by a left and a right. A wide open target. This time, Tillis, following Dundee's instructions, has been pushing off the opponent. And he has been scoring at will. Now it's Tillis who's using his body. And he's doing it effectively. We have 30 seconds left in the fight. So the fight has gone the distance. Ernie is dead tired. Right is winding down, and Ernie has to be just as happy as he is. Look at Ernie. Fell against the ropes as the fight ended. So we await the decision. When? It's a disgrace. This fight's a disgrace. Tillis is terrible. He, he can't, Tillis can't take a blow. Yeah, I'm on. Hey, Chuck. See how stupid it is to have Lane as the referee of the big fight? A little man, they can't handle it. I, I'm going to concentrate on that when we come on. The, the heat and that. He cost Shavers the fight, this, this referee. Wasn't strong enough, and Mills Lane is even smaller. Doing a heavyweight fight. with my jacket, Woody. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a unanimous decision. Oh. Judge Herb Santo scores 96-92. Judge Chuck Maker scores 97-91. Woody, would you give me a and hand? And Judge Luke Tevis scores 96-92 for the winner by unanimous decision. I mean, hey. isn't that stupid? Hey, what the hell are they looking at? I wonder. Uh, I mean, that is so stupid. Can we sit? Yeah, I think so. Can you move this cable? <laughs> 